Hey everybody out there, how's it going today? Got me a country gentleman going here. And got my first bowl of plum cake. I think that's what it's called, yep. McBaron uh, plum cake. And we're smoking pretty good. I'm gonna liken the plum cake as well. I had the meat pie yesterday and it was pretty good. And the plum cake is turning out to be pretty good. And so I've uh, been getting a lot of uh, messages and comments and tips and suggestions again. Thank you very much. Uh, and a lot of people have said, I've had more than one person say, you may not, after you try a certain tobacco in a certain pipe, you know, try it out of a different pipe, whether it be a different corn cob or a briar or, you know, something like that. And you may, you know, get different, different results out of it. So I do plan on doing that. And I may do an experiment at some point and pick, I don't know, one, like the one uh, Q or something. And then have like two bowls and like right now all three of my corn cobs just go two bowls here maybe tomorrow two bowls in that pipe two bowls in that one and do that with you know all the different ones and see how it goes and uh mike smoking briar had given me a lot of uh suggestions i really appreciate it uh smoking briar mike if you haven't uh, if you're not uh, watching him or subscribe to him go check out his uh channel he's got a lot of good information out there And I think one of the things that he mentioned that I might try is get straight, instead of a bunch of blends, get a straight tobacco, like Burley only. Smoke it. Maybe I can tell whether I like Burley or not. Get a whatever, a Latakia. Smoke it. See whether I like it or not. And see right now, like a lot of times, I'll smell a tobacco. I don't know whether I'm smelling Latakia or Perique or Burley or what. And so uh, that may help me kind of narrow it down and identify that and find out, you know what, I really don't like a certain type. And, you know, then I can start looking at the blends and maybe start, uh, you know, avoiding certain ones or find what I like and trying some. But that's the fun of it, isn't it? Trying all the different things and getting it narrowed down and figured out what you like and and so I am enjoying it I haven't found anything that makes me want to just uh, pitch it out the window and uh, keep on driving and so you know um, I mentioned a lot of times when I'm talking about cigars about a dog rocket and Danny Daniel Shore had mentioned in one of the comments, what's a dog rocket? And I think I kind of explained to him, but um, a dog rocket of a cigar is one that is terrible. I mean, it's it's a not even what we call a yard guard. It's not one that you even want to smoke while you're working on the car or out more on the lawn. I mean, you smoke it for five or ten minutes, and it's so terrible, you throw it out in the yard. And uh, it's a turd of a cigar, so to speak, and it's a dog rocket. And so, uh, I don't. I haven't found any dog rocket uh, pipe tobaccos yet. And so, I've enjoyed. I've enjoyed every one I've had so far. So, I am. I'm liking the experience. And I'll again. I like doing the experimenting where I try a tobacco, you know, uh, in a couple bowls in each different pipe or something like that and you know see what I think and so with six blends currently and I know I've got some more on the way because a couple people have said they're gonna send me some stuff they might they think I might like to try and I do appreciate that nobody really has to do that uh, but I do appreciate it and so um, and then I'll and I've had a lot of people comment about the smells of uh, you know aromatics that they are not gonna taste like what they smell which you know I pretty much have I've already discovered that I 
I think maybe for me and aromatics and getting some that are really the room note, I guess is what you would call it, is a really pleasant room note would be for the others around me. And so if we're, you know, like, my wife is not turned off. She does really doesn't like the cigar smoke. Um, I mean, she'll like sit out on the porch with me and read while I'm smoking a cigar if the wind is in the right direction. Um, and so uh, I don't smoke cigars in, in my pickup at all. I don't smoke anything in the house uh, just because I don't want to get in the carpet or the curtains or anything like that. But uh, but pipe tobacco is not is not near as I don't know whether pungent is the right word or not not near as smelly and so oh, we'll throw my lighter on the floor and so I tried the um, a guy was talking about when him and I think. Maybe Tim were at uh, Boswell's about, you know, doing your standard light, you know, like your false light, char light, kind of tamp it down, light again, standard procedure, maybe go for a minute or two, and then kind of dump that ash out, and then light. So that's what I'm, I've done here. I don't know that I can tell a difference. Again, I'm not experienced enough to know. I never, I haven't smoked enough bowls the old way versus, and I say old or new, the old to me versus the new way or, you know, type A versus type B. So anyway, that, that's, that's the fun of it. I like experimenting. I like doing all this. And if you guys want to sit in and watch around, that's fine too. If not, that's fine too. I like doing the videos and uploading and, and watching. I didn't see any videos this morning. I normally try to get up and watch at least two or three videos first thing in the morning uh, before I get my day going. And so I didn't get any done this morning. And YouTube, <clears throat> I had a bunch of things to do first thing in the morning. And um, YouTube was not wanting to cooperate. There were two or three videos I tried to watch. I could get two or three minutes and then choo, just stop. And then I'd get, there was an error or whatever. I'd reload the page, reload the page, get a couple minutes and stop. So I'd just, you know, go to a different, uh, go to a different uh, video. Same thing would happen, get maybe two or three minutes in. And so I finally gave up. I don't know whether it's, maybe I need to reboot my router or something. I don't know whether it's on my end, whether it's on their end. It's happened occasionally before, but every, it was every video this morning, so. I'll try again this afternoon, and um, if I still have problems, I'll reset the router and then see what's going on there. I do know when I'm uploading a video to YouTube, I can't do anything else on YouTube. And I've got what I would think is more than enough bandwidth. I know typically my upload, um, my download is at a minimum of typically uh, 30. My upload's typically at a minimum of 15, if not 20 or 25 up. So it shouldn't be a problem. And see, I can, and I don't think it's bandwidth problem because while I'm uploading a video, I can surf the web, I can check email, I can, you know, do other things, but I can't, I can't pull up anything else on YouTube, so anyway. So when I do, uh, when I'm uploading to YouTube, that's, not that it's a big deal, but, and so if I've got a longer video, I'll just set it to upload, and then I'll go do something else, and then come back, and sometimes it's 10 minutes, sometimes it's half an hour. I, well, I did a couple in HD, but man, it just takes so long. I know what you're talking about on those, Danny Shore. It does take a while to upload and then process those on uh, when you're doing them in HD. I'm liking the plum cake. And again, 
I haven't defined enough about different tobaccos to know what it is I like about it. I can't pick out and say, ooh, I like the, the whatever in there, but I like the mouth feel on the smoke. And I can I can actually taste I can actually taste it. So I'm liking the plum cake. That was a good recommendation for all those guys who have recommended it. I like the meat pie. That was pretty good. And so I've got I brought three or four of my little baggies out to try maybe some others but I don't think I'm gonna have time because I think I've only got about another 15-20 minutes before I've got to head out to my next appointment and I don't want to try a new tobacco while I'm driving not just because I don't think I'd be concentrating enough on it. I think I'm going to be concentrating on driving and where I'm going and what's going on that I really wouldn't be concentrating on, you know, flavors or... So anyway, just thought I'd bring you in on another bowl of the Country Gentleman and some plum cake. I like it. I don't know whether I like it any more or any less than the meat pie. I would say currently I like them both about the same. And so again, we'll, as I go, I'll develop, I'll develop that and see what I like and what I don't like. I will order, do like uh, Mike suggested, and order, or go to a, you know, I've got to go to one of these local shops and see. I don't know whether they're going to carry, they may carry blends only. I don't know whether they'll carry just a, for example, Latakia or something like that. But I'll go by, see what they got, and then, uh, and then I will, uh, if not, I'll order some, see what they got. But that's the fun of it. One thing I don't want to do is get 9,000 different tobaccos. So I want to do, you know, whatever, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and kind of try them out, and again, do the experimentation out of different pipes and different settings even, and... See how I like them, you know. I'm still working on my on my cadence here. When to sip, when to puff, how long to drag. You know, Guy mentioned in his one of his last videos. Do a longer, slower drag. And I know typically to get the best flavors out of cigar, you want to do the same thing. You know, take a three or four second drag, nice and slow, because you don't want it overheating. And what I think Tim was saying that the guy at Boswell told him that heat is the enemy of tobacco. And I, I do agree with that. You do not, I don't want a cigar anyway, you do not want to smoke it too hot. You want to keep it nice and cool if you can. So that's, and that's some of the different things I'm experimenting with and I'm learning as I'm doing this. So anyway, I'm going to run over the 15-minute mark if I don't get out of here. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all your comments, suggestions, tips, hints, uh, thumbs up, subscribers, everybody. Thank you very much. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it, and I will catch you all next time.